Hi, and welcome back to Trendrix X. Have you ever pondered why that basket of groceries you frequently purchase appears to have a growing price tag every year? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? You've probably noticed this not just in your supermarket receipts, but also the continuous increase in rent for your apartment. You're definitely not alone in this observation. It seems to be a growing concern for a large number of people. Welcome to Trendera X, the platform where we're committed to understanding the patterns of the world around us. Today, we're taking a detailed exploration into the escalating costs of everyday essentials and living expenses. We'll be diving into the complexities of financial patterns and inflation, the silent, unseen forces driving these changes. We want to ensure that you have a comprehensive understanding of what cost of living truly entails. This phenomenon, this ever-rising cost of living, is something that has a significant impact on each of us, present and future. The cost of living is simply the amount of money needed to sustain a certain level of living, including basic expenses such as housing, food, taxes, and health care. This basic definition doesn't encompass the complexity behind these numbers. It doesn't tell you about the nuances that influence changes in the cost of living. It's more than just the expenses we pay for our basic necessities. The cost of living is a dynamic concept. It fluctuates and changes based on a wide array of factors. These factors can include anything from inflation to the cost of raw materials. They can be affected by government policies, by shifts in the global economy, or simply by the supply and demand in your local market. Moreover, each individual's cost of living is affected by their personal lifestyle choices and their income level. In recent years, we have seen significant fluctuations in these factors, resulting in changing costs of living around the world. But lately, it seems like these costs are always on the rise. So, What's behind this? First up, inflation. It's an economic term that most of us have heard but may not fully understand. Let's break it down. Inflation is essentially the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is increasing. Now, what does that mean? It means that as time moves forward, the cost of products and services that we use in our day-to-day -day lives tends to rise. But why does this happen? Well, it's related to demand and supply. As demand for various goods and services, the prices attached to these items also rise to match this increased demand. And it's not just limited to tangible goods like clothes or food, but also services like healthcare or education. Now let's talk the impact of inflation. With an increase in prices, the value of the currency you hold starts to decrease, which means that the purchasing power of your money starts to fall. It's like you're running up a down escalator. The harder the escalator, inflation, the harder you have to work to keep up. So in essence, inflation can impact your life and your financial future. As demand for goods and services increases, prices rise, and the currency you hold buys less than before. Next, housing. With urbanization on the rise globally, the demand for housing, particularly in urban centers, has surged significantly. Metropolitan cities across the globe are witnessing an unprecedented demand for residential accommodations. This massive wave of urbanization is fueled by various factors. People are moving to cities in search of better employment opportunities, a higher standard of living, and improved access to amenities such as healthcare, education, and entertainment. However, the supply side of this equation isn't aligning with the increasing demand. Factors like strict zoning laws, the high cost of construction, and a lack of affordable land are causing a supply crunch in these bustling urban areas. Consequently, a huge gap has developed between the demand for and supply of housing. In economics, when demand outstrips supply, prices naturally start to rise. This basic principle is now causing property values in cities to skyrocket. The impact of this scenario is worrisome. It's creating an environment where only the affluent can afford to live in cities, while the less fortunate are severely priced out. This trend of soaring property values is rapidly pushing up the cost of housing, making urban living increasingly unaffordable for many. As we grapple with this burgeoning issue, we must seek innovative and equitable solutions to balance the scales. Then there's healthcare. This topic is vast, complex, and crucial to our daily lives. It is deeply intertwined with the state-of-the-art technology, which is continually advancing at a breathtaking pace. From the advent of telemedicine to the development of robotic surgeries, technology is revolutionizing the medical industry. However, while we revel in these advancements and celebrate the improvements in patient care they bring, we must also grapple with a less desirable side effect, the escalating cost of medical services. This financial aspect is critical. As technology improves, the monetary value attached to these services increases. Cutting-edge medical equipment, top-of-the-line facilities, and expert professionals all carry a hefty price tag. In developed nations, this isn't as burdensome due to the presence of universal healthcare. 
But elsewhere, it's a different story. In countries without universal health care, the scenario is far from ideal. The skyrocketing health care costs can put a serious strain on household budgets. It can turn into a monumental burden, threatening financial stability and causing stress and worry. The inequality in health care access thus becomes a pressing issue, raising questions about affordability, fairness, and the very fabric of our society. Let's not forget about the topic of education, a fundamental pillar of society and a stepping stone to individual growth. Education, in its varied forms, shapes our understanding of the world, molds our perspectives, and equips us with the fundamental skills necessary for our growth, both personal and professional. However, the cost of this crucial resource has been on an alarming rise. It is not just about the tuition fees for post-secondary education, but the expenses stretch from the beginning itself, from primary schooling to the university level. These costs are not limited to just tuition fees, but encompass other related expenses, such as textbooks, housing, transportation, and meals. This financial strain doesn't halt at the end of every academic year, but continues to pile up, turning into a mountain of debt by the time students graduate. This trend of increasing educational expenses has been consistent and unrelenting, with seemingly no end in sight. It is burdening many aspiring students and fresh graduates with hefty student loans, creating a financial challenge that extends well into their working years. The societal impact of this problem is enormous, as it restricts access to quality education for many, perpetuating a cycle of economic inequality. The cost of schooling, from primary to university level, has been on a steady climb, burdening many with hefty student loans, and of course, energy prices. When we start to consider the multitude of factors that influence our daily lives, energy prices sit prominently among them. Think about it. What aspect of our day-to-day -day existence isn't impacted by this? We're enveloped by the necessity of energy, whether in the form of gasoline for our vehicles or electricity to power our homes and devices. Perhaps you remember your first car. The feeling of freedom was incredible, but it was quickly tempered by the realization that this vehicle, this symbol of autonomous mobility, was governed by the fluctuating prices of gasoline. Was it a shock for you when you had to pay for your first tank of gas? Did you start calculating how many hours of work were needed to keep the car running? Consider also the electricity that powers our lives. From the moment our alarm clocks jolt us awake, to our morning coffees, to the lights we switch off before retiring to bed, electricity is an omnipresent entity. It's easy to take for granted, but the cost of electricity can take a significant chunk of our income. And these are just two examples. Energy prices affect a wide array of other areas too, from our food to our leisure activities, and the cost of these can fluctuate greatly it's an interconnected web of influence that touches every corner of our lives. Thus, it's clear that the cost of gasoline and electricity can significantly impact the cost of living. Lastly, wages. This is indeed a critical topic that has been much discussed and debated in various countries and regions around the globe. In certain areas, an alarming trend has been observed over the years. It has been noted that wages, the basic source of income for many people, have remained stagnant. This stagnation isn't a minor issue. It's a persistent problem that has become more tangible with each passing day. Despite people's hard work and dedication, their earnings don't seem to be reflecting the same. This is particularly concerning when we take into account the ever-changing, fast-paced modern world we live in. With advancements in technology, new career opportunities, and the flourishing of various industries, one would expect a corresponding rise in wages. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Wages are not merely numbers, they are the bread and butter for many families. They are what ensures a roof over their heads, food on their tables, and a decent standard of living. However, these wages are not keeping pace with the rising cost of living. The cost of living includes several factors, from housing and healthcare to food and transportation. Each of these elements has witnessed a significant increase over the years. But the wages? They're stuck in a rut not moving forward. This unfortunate discrepancy has led to a bitter truth Despite working long hours and giving it their all, many people still struggle. They struggle for basic necessities, struggle for a decent life, and struggle to make ends meet. This isn't just about numbers or finances. It's about human lives and well-being. The stagnation of wages needs to be addressed. It isn't a problem that can be swept under the rug. We must open our eyes to this reality and work to find possible solutions. Because at the end of the day, people deserve to earn a wage that enables them to live, not just survive therefore causing many to struggle to make ends meet. The implications of this are far-reaching. 
This change, this shift, will have a profound impact on the way our society functions. It has the potential to reshape the very fabric of our global economy. It will affect not only the financial stress that many people feel on a daily basis, but could potentially worsen the already widening gap of income inequality. People's discretionary income, the money they have left after paying for taxes and necessities, which they use to enjoy life, will shrink even further. This could lead to less spending on recreational activities, less money for vacations, and overall decrease in quality of life. Moreover, it will also hinder social and economic mobility. The ability for a person to move up in society to improve their economic status will be severely impacted. The income gap will only widen, creating a society where the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. And the most troubling part is that these are just some of the consequences. So how can we tackle this issue? It's definitely not an easy task. However, a myriad of potential remedies at our disposal can be explored to achieve our goal. One such strategy is the minimum wage. This could mean ensuring that it keeps pace with the current inflation levels, thus ensuring the purchasing power of the lowest earners isn't eroded. Next, we can also look at investing in affordable housing. This would involve putting more resources into making housing more accessible and cost-effective for everyone. Likewise, improvements in our healthcare system and reforms can also be beneficial. The idea is to make healthcare more affordable and accessible to all. In addition, making education more readily available is important. We need to ensure that a good education isn't out of reach for the less privileged. This could involve implementing effective policies that promote inclusivity in education. Next, the promotion of energy conservation is another key strategy. This involves encouraging practices that reduce energy consumption and promote the use of renewable sources. Implementing progressive tax policies is another solution. Such policies aim to tax individuals based on their ability to pay, ensuring a fairer distribution of the tax burden. Lastly, we should also focus on promoting financial literacy. This can empower individuals to make informed decisions about their finances, thus promoting economic stability. Even though making these changes is not going to be easy, they are necessary for a better future. So, how can we tackle this issue? It's not an easy task, but potential solutions include adjusting the minimum wage to keep up with inflation, investing in affordable housing, implementing healthcare reforms, making education more accessible, promoting energy conservation, implementing progressive tax policies, and promoting financial literacy. In conclusion, the rising cost of living is a complex issue, presenting a unique combination of challenges that are influenced by a variety of interconnected factors. These can include inflation, wage stagnation, housing affordability, increased taxes, global market fluctuations, and economic instability. Effectively address this escalating problem, a comprehensive and strategic approach is required that encompasses and coordinates the collective efforts of various societal sectors. Governments must implement robust and appropriate economic policies. Businesses should commit to fair wage practices and promote internal growth opportunities. On a personal level, individuals can contribute by fostering financial literacy and advocating for change in their communities. Through these collective efforts, we stand a greater chance of combating the rising cost of living. The goal remains the same to create a more equitable and prosperous future for all. Thank you for tuning in to Trendera X, where we go beyond the trends to bring you the facts. We understand that in today's fast-paced world, information comes from a multitude of sources. It's not just about staying updated, but about knowing the truth behind what is trending. And that's what we aim to do here at Trendera X. We sift through the noise to bring you the facts. Each time you tune in, you're not just watching another video, you're joining a community of discerning viewers who appreciate in-depth analysis of trending topics. Our team of experts work round the clock, examining trends, analyzing data, and putting together the most comprehensive reports for our viewers. We go behind the scenes, dig deeper, and dissect trends to understand what's driving them. We believe in the power of fact-based content, not sensationalism. We are committed to providing our viewers with balanced and unbiased information to help them make informed decisions. Our videos are meticulously researched, carefully crafted, and beautifully presented for your viewing pleasure. We strive to educate, inform, and entertain, all at the same time. We are passionate about what we do, and we believe in making a difference, one trend at a time. In a world full of noise, we aim to be your voice of reason. More than just being an information platform, we are a movement and we invite you to be a part of it. So stay tuned, stay informed, and above all, stay curious. In the end, it's all about the journey and we're glad to have you on board. So here's to the next trend we will dissect together. Until then, 
Keep exploring, keep questioning, and never stop learning. Thanks for being a part of Trendera X. We'll catch you in the next video.